Hey. So this is just a quick video on a few things that I want to talk. I wanted to um, talk about, but also just based on the full moon. Sorry, the new moon, and a few things that have been coming up for me. Now with this new moon, there is obviously this energy of new beginnings, as always. But there's also this um, energy of really striving for what you want and what you need, really. Not only that, it's also about expanding oneself. And really trying to amplify your progress on your earthly experience. And when, before I came out, sorry, I pulled two cards, one from my Moonology deck and another from my Nature's Whispers deck. And with the Moonology card, the card that came out was, um, your hard work is paying off, the new moon in Capricorn. Now, when it comes to the new moon in Capricorn, that, no, it, it's, that's regarding like the end of the year and really more of a monumental moment however it's almost like there is a celebration for us as a collective and what was coming forward was that whilst we're going through so much dark and whilst there is so much um, kind of turmoil and negativity being put out regarding um, the elite and celebrities and um, the media whilst there is a lot of darkness coming out it's almost that it's kind of a celebration and that um, all of this darkness is going to kind of result in a celebration and it may not necessarily be a physical celebration where we're partying and happy because we've seen so much negativity but it's a realization of the way that we've been living and the things that we are not privy to we this time is also going to give us the opportunity to really understand why some and many people in the spiritual community say to question everything people who have not been questioning are now questioning and will continue to question beyond the beyond this period of time and whilst all this negativity is coming out it's happening because we as um, a collective are ready we're ready to hear certain truths and we are ready to also feel certain truths you know, it's very easy for us to hear things because they can go in one ear and out the other. But um, when we are able to connect our feeling to what is being said, our um, innate ability to feel emotion and to feel truth, it's kind of like um, the words can be denied, but the feeling cannot be denied of truth. That feeling of truth, that inner knowing of truth cannot be um, cast aside. Now, again, when I put the, um, the card from the Nature's Whispers deck, um, the card that came up again was all about like, your ambition and striving forward. And it was the um, accumulation of vision. And it's almost like this darkness that we are experiencing as a mass collective, the things that are being put out in regards to children and um, human trafficking and so on, it is kind of um, setting a new path of sight, a new, um, I want to say like a model of society, it's creating a new way. Not a new way, it's eliminating what isn't necessary basically. What isn't necessary, Ugh, that doesn't sound, not that. It's not eliminate, eliminating what isn't necessary, 
it is <sighs> Macon is aware, aware of um, <clears throat> our lack of um, of searching for truth is kind of like an enabler to um, like what happens in the industry to people and things and it's not that we have to t it's not that we are um, that we need to take responsibility of course we're not we are not solely responsible for anything really besides ourselves but um, we have a I want to say a duty or an, a a need to question because in questioning um, in questioning is a search for truth and if we was questioning a long time ago certain things would have been brought to light a long time ago So, I asked Gaia if she had anything to specifically say. And what came forward, what I heard was, get ready. That the change is coming and the change is happening. And we are going to be able to actually see so much of this change. And the reason why this change is happening like physically and we can physically see the changes happening in terms of um, our society changing, the systems that we live by, the, that the um, constructs that we live by, the reason why they are physically changing is because we have physically changed within us. As, of, as a people, we have literally changed on a energetic level, on a spiritual level. And right now I'm be actually being shown like physically as well. Like even I did already say physically we've changed. Like physically one second my brother's just come and interrupted me. Yes. So yeah. Where was I? Um Yes, I've been shown our actual DNA that at a cellular level, our DNA has literally changed and we are able to absorb more, um, for some reason it's coming to me as love and light consciousness, but in that is also obviously the shadow and um, the other side of the spectrum. Obviously, we live in a dualistic world and we strive towards oneness. But we have physically changed as well on a um, cellular level. And these are big things that we um, should acknowledge, but they are things that we are not necessarily aware of because we haven't taken the time to be able to um, feel those kind of changes. Those kind of changes are not things that we can... Um, like see they're not tangible kind of changes they are changes to feel and and when i say feel i mean to tap into your spiritual essence to be able to receive guidance and knowledge and also to be able to notice subtler energies and subtle changes within yourself and other people and the world around you but I think that's all for this video. Sending peace and love to everybody watching.